are now here with Matt Blakely. Hello, Mr. Blakely. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah. So um, you're doing very nice um, natural pots from ingredients which you collect yourself. Um, I'm really impressed by that. Um, I also like uh, the two wood fire. I also um, try to make uh, pots which are wood fire. So maybe you can tell me more about the process of how you collect and how you fire your pots. Okay. Um, well, so the, the collection um, is quite a long process. Um, I pick an area, a particular place, and then do a lot of research to find out what rocks and clays should be there. Um, and then I do a, I go up there and have a look and see if I can find any um, outcrops or places where I could collect. Then I have to find out who owns the land and get permission. Oh, to you have to do that. Yeah, oh, okay. to, to, to collect it, everything. So some place, sometimes it's quite easy, um, and other times it takes that, that takes a long time. So say so this piece, for example, the uh, rock that. Um, one of the rocks that this glaze um, has in it is um, from Arthur's Seat um, in Edinburgh, oh, okay. which is a protected um, site. Okay. Um, so you can't just go and hack up, you know, bits of rock. So I had to um, get permission from about four different organisations, and eventually I went out with the ranger, and he let me collect um, some more fallen pieces oh. of rock. Okay. So sometimes, you know, even that process takes a long time. But once I have collected the rocks, then I go home and start testing, crush them all up physically. Okay. And then I've got a ball mill okay. that yeah. um, grinds them down to a powder okay. and then start doing tests, blending them together to, to get places. How many tests do you have to do before you <laughs> <laughs> know it's right? Well, it sort of it depends on the rock. Some rocks are much easier to use than others. Like, say, granite is quite an easy rock in a way because because it's got nearly all the um, ingredients that you would need in a glaze, so you don't need to add that much more to it to get it to, um, you know, to melt. Whereas some others are really problematic. So, say the Arthur Seat Basalt, that took me a long time um, because it, everything melts, but it forms a sort of sludgy brown colour. So, what I'm really trying to do is um, coax colour, like you know, interesting. Um, get beautiful colours out, and, and that sometimes takes a long time. So this this um, glaze has got about six different rocks in it, so oh, lots wow. and lots of blending. Whereas some of the others are much more simple; they've only got three, maybe. Yeah. I also noticed that your colours of the glazes are very bright sometimes, yeah. <laughs> which is quite interesting for wood fire. How do you manage to do that? Um, like are these are ash glazes or you kind of? Uh, well, there is there is ash in them from the um, from the wood firing, so they're all not all, they're mostly modified um, by the firing itself. So in my kiln, I've got two packing areas. One of them is right up the front in the firebox, so they, they those pots get a lot of ash on them, so the glazes get really um, uh, affected by that, and then. I've got another chamber, and towards the top, say, there's not much ash goes there at all. So pieces like this, there really isn't much ash in there. It's mostly just the heat and the uh, length of the firing. So, um, yeah, so it's hard to say. So some of them, like if you look at this piece, um, it's got a quite a matte, crystalline surface, and that's because of the ash that's landed on, on the glaze. So with it, without the ash, it would be much shinier and less interesting. Yeah. And what kind of wood kiln do you have? Is it like an anagama type? No, it's no. A, no it's a it's a strange mixture? it's a mixture ah, kiln. Okay. So it's got a a catenary arch firebox that's extended a long one, and so I can put half of it I pack in the firebox. Okay. And then behind that there's a sprung arch chamber okay. where I with a door on the side and a side stove port between the two. So it's a bit of a mixture and I've got a small kiln as well and that's like a brewery box ah, okay. um, kiln with a small uh, chamber. Well thank you, it's been nice talking to you and good luck with your show. Thanks very much.